Hello, Lily Starts here. Um, here just playing Sudoku, and if you enjoy it, then I ha I'm happy to play. And yeah, Sudoku is pretty fun. It's on the Google Play, Sudoku.com, and yeah. So I hope you enjoy it, and yeah, let's continue on. I'm trying not to use it. I'm trying not to to get some help. I'm not trying. What I usually try to do is the one that's most the most common. To help me out, it makes it a lot easier to play. And it's also a little bit of guessing, too. Sometimes you just gotta guess and hope to guess. I'm gonna guess it. Oh, okay, yeah. I actually need it over there. Because I can't put it over here because of that eight. You have. What you're trying to do is every block, every line, and every row has. has uh, numbers one to nine. But you can't have any repeating. Like, if they're like diagonal from each other, like, they're, that's fine, but they can't be in like the same low. Um, bro, line, or, or block. Like, this 8 that I'm going to put, I'm going to put it right here because I can't put it on this line. Can't put it this way or in this row either. The only place I can put it is right there. Right at the corner. Mm -hmm. And that helps affect that one. That 8, and...
How many guess it? And yeah, cool. Sometimes I get it wrong, so that's why I have one error. Sometimes you just gotta look and guess it. Use logic to the best of your ability. This is a logic game. But sometimes you have to also, like... Like, you use logic, but sometimes you have to also kind of guess it. Because you usually, like, have two. It goes down to two, and then you have to kind of guess it. At times. And hope to make the best option. How's your guys' day? Mm, my day's been pretty good. Decent. Decent enough. Can't complain. Yeah, it's a game of logic, but it's also a kind of, you have to guess it a little bit at times. But you can usually get an idea of what is the best option. Usually. But it's pretty helpful when it's like almost done and you just like have one, one you have to put. Like that where this one needs a two, but the only place it can go is right here. Because of those two. Blocking those two options. Oops, that was my goof up. Cause I put I meant to put two instead of three, but I must make it put three. That was a careless mistake on my part. 
Ooh, I gotta be careful of my mistakes. Because it's three strikes or you're out. Three errors or you're out. The game is done. But I wanted to use a baseball reference. And that one's complete. That box is complete. This row is almost complete. I just need to put a... A... A five and a nine in this row. But I need to check... Which one goes where? Five can't go this way, so it has to be right here, and the nine goes here. And that line is complete. <laughs> You're liking my channel. Like and subscribe, I have other, I have theories, I have games, and just life in Mexico, Mexico City. So, yeah. So, if you like and subscribe, like, subscribe, pass to your friends, so we can, so this small channel can grow and become huge. Such, similar to PewDiePie. Found a place, and another three is perfectly placed.
like the sevens. The sevens are right here are diagonal to each other, but this is okay because I'm trying to get the line, the row with different numbers, but if they touch like that diagonally, like it's fine. It doesn't affect what I'm doing. So this is okay. This is okay. And a good relaxing game of Sudoku doesn't hurt anyone. And suppose and and this actually helps helps um, patients uh, with dementia because you want them to constantly with dementia. The most common being uh, Alzheimer's disease. And you actually want them to do mind mind games to help with their memory. And like you can't stop dementia from happening, but you can basically control control the the progression. Control the progression so it can be slowed down, and actually letting them do Sudoku or chess will actually help that. Or, or a lot of professions, such as mine, that use um, brain power, to, like constantly having to process a lot of information, is actually also very helpful to lower the risk because mm -hmm. because you're using your brain to with memory and processing so it can actually it helps stimulate stimulate that that's why you actually want patients with Alzheimer's disease or with dementia or other forms of dementia like vascular dementia you want them to actually actually do Sudoku or chess because again, it helps stop the process. Help regulate the process. That it's not as progressive. It's not, it's... Slow down, it's... It's process. That they have more time, more time, and less of the severity. Just Sudoku is also for regular average people for memory and to help your critical uh, critical thinking. And it's just plain fun. It's just plain fun to do. To relax your mind and and actually, it's Sudoku for me is very nostalgic because I used to have how I got into Sudoku is because I actually had a teacher when I was in high school um, that actually would do Sudoku as like extra credit and like homework assignments for math class. So we would do them pretty frequently. Even though also some thought he was an alcoholic. But, but I do recommend Sudoku as just like a way of relaxing and as a way to um, problem solve. Critical thinking too. And they're just plain fun. They're just plain fun. Huh?
Okay, this one needs a three. Before I make this careless mistake and then I end the game, I'm just gonna slow this down a little bit. Slow my mind a little down. This one needs a nine and a three. Oh, no, 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 not a three. Sorry, that block, I lied. A seven, a seven. That one needs a nine and a seven. But I don't know where the nine or the seven, which of them is the seven or the nine. That's the only thing I don't know. But I know a nine or a seven needs to be in those two. Needs a four and a f five and a five from that, okay. But I don't know which one should go there. Which or which should go where? Oh, I found another five. So it's one of these two is a five. One of those two, okay. Is a five. One of these two is a five, so okay. Five, one of those two, but well, I don't know which one. Looking for under the sea, under the sea, darling, it's when take it from me. And so they are in on this slave away, boating under the sea. Yeah, it's a good game. It was a pretty good game. Once you know the rules, it, it actually is quite easy. It's actually quite fun to play. This one is the five then. That one's the five and two, three. Okay, this needs a four. So the four goes over here, the five goes over here. And then I made a double. Yes, you can have double connections. And this one is a nine. Mm. Mm. 
the nine and the nine go there. So yeah, that one is done. Oh, whoops, I totally ignored this one. Two, three, four, five, six. That is a different seven. And another seven could go here. And this one definitely needs a five. So. Sorry, you had to see that. That was my dad. Um, seven has to go right here, and then the nine is going in there. And nine has to go there to complete that one. Just trying to fish it up. And yeah, that's basically it. That one is two, three, four, five, six. That needs the seven. Seven's going there. And one needs a four to complete it. This one needs a nine to complete. And this one also needs a nine, oddly enough. Moving that, thank you. And this is a one, two, three, four. That needs to be a five. Okay. Fish that up. Let's be a five. That one's also a five. A five. That one is a four. And a seven to finish it out. See you later. Bye.